we're with Paolo Sassoni, a guitar maker. You've been doing this for seven or eight years now. Yeah. How, how much do you enjoy doing doing this? I mean, it, it must be an amazing job to do this every day. Yeah, it's um, it was very strange because um, I started seven years ago and uh, I had another job, you know. Uh, but when I, I found this passion for guitars and for guitar making, I started trying to do this uh, as a job in my life. And that uh, everything started uh, at that time. And uh, I, I found, you know, uh, a new way of thinking, a new life, because uh, I needed to learn everything. And uh, uh, it's very hard to learn everything. And so, you know. <laughs> It was a long journey, it was a long journey, but step by step, uh, now I'm here for uh, two years, the last two years, yes, and uh, I started making guitars for uh, many songwriters or guitar players, in Italy and not only. This is the San Mateo, and that's a very, it's a very old part of Italy, so did, you know, when you were choosing this location, how did you know this was the right spot to, to make guitars? How did you know? Yes, yes, correct. Because uh, I found this place uh, and with uh, another luthier, a uh, violin maker and cello maker, and it was already here. And uh, when I found this place, uh, I thought, okay, this is the right place. Because we've, this building is made uh, in uh, the more or less in the 14th or 15th century. And uh, this is one of the oldest part of the city, and uh, it is a very in a city center, you know, but uh, also uh, in the uh, old city center. So we are close to many theaters, uh, old theaters, new theaters. Uh, uh, it's uh, full of music uh, around here. There's a theater just around the P uh, Piazza di Ferrari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See. Uh, uh, one of the most famous, uh, uh, it is the most famous square and uh, as you can see there is uh, the most famous theater uh, on the top of this uh, street and, uh, and so I, I love this place, especially uh, by night when I, when I go down uh, this street, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing also for that. Have, have you always been making guitars and is it ukuleles too? in Geneva? Have you always been making them here? Yes, yes, yes. I start here and I went to Luthier School in uh, Milan, yes. you know, but uh, I met uh, many Luthiers uh, in Genoa uh, because uh, we have uh, an old, uh, uh, you know, old uh, school of Luthier in Genoa uh, starting from the 18th century or 19th century and we had uh, a guitar like that uh, you know of this that period and uh, now we are almost in four or five luthiers in the city uh, but um, very very good luthiers yeah. are, you all work are you all working together or not not so many no but we're trying to do this yeah, w I would like to work together with uh, other luthiers to, to make some, especially that guitar uh, on, the, on the table. Uh, I, I'm making this guitar uh, with uh, my colleague, uh, my co violin maker, because it's a special guitar for a special project, the acoustic guitar project that I, I talked to you before. Yeah. This acoustic guitar project you have, you challenge guitarist to write a song and then within a week yeah yeah this is a project uh, the project is uh, the same guitar uh, for each musician we have 10 musicians and they have one week uh, to create a new song with that guitar and uh, after that they have to sign the guitar and to pass it to the the second one you know so if I was to come here to your workshop and ask you um, how do I go about getting a guitar? How do I go about buying one? And if I say I want it like this, I want it with this type of word, I want it to sound like this. I mean, how difficult would that be for you? How much time would you have to take? Yes, uh, it's uh, starting a new guitar is always uh, it, it needs uh, many time, you know, and uh, because we have to decide to understand 
uh, before, which is the sound that the guitar player wants. And then uh, you start building the guitar together. You know? uh, we have to choose the, uh, the body size or the wood or everything that uh, uh, the guitar needs, so, uh, such as inlays or so. And uh, it will take uh, more or less for a handmade guitar, uh, it will take 250 hours for making a guitar. Yeah. And so, uh, it, depending also by um, many things uh, we have, just like the weather, the humidity, and then this 250 hours may grow much more. Much more because the, the specifications they might be like, actually, I want this. And how do you deal with that? How do you deal if something's not quite right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Everything uh, changes, and then a day may. Uh, it's not possible to glue the guitar and uh, you have to do uh, something else, you know, <laughs> so. How much of your time is spent repairing the guitars and how much time is spent actually making them? Uh, at the moment, uh, almost 50-50, mm, you know, half and half, yeah, because uh, I have many guitars to, to make uh, and uh, I have some guitars to be restored and so, you need one week uh, doing this and another week doing that, yeah. So your schedule's pretty busy. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty busy. And uh, when I start doing this job, I, uh, I understood that uh, I have no more weekend, you know. And so you have to to spend all your time uh, you have, so um, weekend or night. I used to, to, to when I have to finish a guitar for a musician. Uh, I spent many nights here <laughs> and uh, been um, putting on some shows recently, especially for Mark Seaton. And uh, he's been working with David Crosby. What attracts him, what attracts you to his music? I met Marcus four years ago. Uh, it was here. He arrived in Italy uh, together with uh, Roy McAllister, a uh, very famous luthier, David Crosby luthier too. And uh, uh, when I met him, uh, I found uh, a great artist, you know, a great artist, a great guitar player and uh, a great person, you know. And then after all these years, uh, we, I'd like to organize something uh, watching to, uh, according to his new uh, album. And uh, so when I heard about uh, his Italian tour, you know, I'd like to organize a, a concert here in uh, Genova. And uh, it was a, a special night, a special night in a special place, uh, you know, uh, an old church uh, here uh, in uh, Genova, old city. And uh, it was a perfect place for Marcus for playing because it was, uh, he was alone, uh, his, uh, guitar and uh, uh, his art uh, in uh, this old uh, building because it's not uh, a church now but uh, it's a place uh, where we can do concert here in Genoa and uh, it was uh, amazing also for the city because uh, Marcos uh, uh, was not uh, uh, almost famous here in, uh, in Italy in Genova uh, but after this Italian tour and uh, also after this date in, uh, in Genova is quite famous here right now.